sewing started as a child. Uh, 4-H, I think. We moved to a small town in eastern Kansas, and I don't know why I did that apron, but I did. <laughs> that was the beginning of it. And uh, I sewed all the way through high school. Actually, I started college in a clothing program. I'm thinking it was through the Stretch and Sew that I was working at. They took on a Bernina dealership, and I, I think that's where it first came from. But I've been sewing on Bernina since 1975. What the, the difference, the big difference, was that the machine did what we asked it to, and it didn't spit back at me. It performed, uh, I could count on it. It was so dependable, it was wonderful, and it was quiet. Very quiet compared to what I was used to. Uh, it was a pleasure. It, well, as far as the sewing and anything that I'm doing with the quilting, it means that it's going to be what I want. It's dependable, again. Uh, I can count on it to give me a quality stitch. I know it's gonna hold together. And I also know the machine's gonna take me through the project. I'm very closely involved with one of the sister companies, and that would be Benertex, because I design fabrics for them. And through that association, I've had an opportunity now to have one of my designs digitized by another one of the sister companies, which is OESD. And the OESD connection then goes to Brewer, <laughs> the other company, uh, for putting this product together. And all of that is a brand new excitement because I'm going to learn how to do machine embroidery so that I can sew out my own digitized designs and help promote this on to make it available for the consumer. I live in one of the most gorgeous parts of the entire world. And when I get stuck, I go for a walk. I just walking in the woods, getting all that fresh air, cleaning out all the cobwebs in the head, allow you to be able to see what nature is giving you and start working with pulling it all back in. That's where all of it comes from. <laughs>